Hello everybody, welcome back to my book review channel, this is Cole. Today we're doing the book Talk Everlasting, and I finished this book a few weeks ago. And the author is Natalie Babbitt, and once you're done finishing the book, there is a movie that you can watch. Um, you guys should always read the book first, though. I think whatever, like, whatever it is, you should re really read the book first before watching the movie. In my experience, usually it's the book that's better because it has more details given. Mm -hmm. But I like the movies. The plot of this story is that this family called the Tox drink from a magical spring that grants them eternal life. They can never die. Then a 10-year-old girl named Winnie discovers their, their secret. And they have to school her on why um, being blessed or cursed with eternal life um, is a bad thing. To let Winnie know about the good things, they tell her all about uh, like all the good times they've had with it, how it like helped them in a lot of ways. The horse also drank out of the stream with the family, but their cat didn't. That is important later. So their horse um, get, um, got shot and um, it didn't die. And also, um, one of the Tuck's children got bitten by a rattlesnake. I think it was a rattlesnake or some kind of poisonous snake, and they lived. So the boy named Jesse, who's no, Jesse Tuck, he drank from the spring too, and he drank from it when he was 17. And so, and so now he's like 107 years old. So they've lived for a very, very long time. But he still looks like a 17 year old. Now some of the bad things that living forever can happen is that you could watch um, friends die and you couldn't do anything about it while you just lived on and on and on. And another reason is that you wouldn't feel connected to your neighbors like at all because you're living such different lives. Everybody found out about it, then everyone would want to drink from that stream and then the world might become overpopulated and there wouldn't be enough food and water for everyone and then they might have to start sending people to Mars. At the very end, Jesse um, t um, tells Winnie that, um, that when she's 17, then she can take a bottle of water from the spring that he gave her and she can drink from it if she wants to, but she could also decide not to. And spoiler alert, if you don't want a spoiler alert, then just stop the thing now. And so the spoiler alert is that in the end, Winnie chooses to save this um, toad that's like throughout the whole story, there's this toad. So she pours the whole thing on it and so it can live forever and she never decides to drink from the spring. But at the very end, here's what's funny, is that the Tux find that toad and it like almost gets run over by a truck. And so they say, darn thing must think it's gonna live forever. I would recommend this book to other fourth graders um, because it would challenge them to think about what they would choose if they were presented with that choice. So I have a friend from school and her name is Whitney and uh, she likes a lot of the same books that I like and so I was thinking that maybe she could do one of these so I'm going to challenge her to do that and we will post um, the video um, here when she does it, okay? Whitney, I challenge you. If you were watching this, I challenge you.